In this video, I'll be showing you how to use monitoring in Magnet Field and Magnet Tools using the Set Collection Field Routine. There are some common questions about the Set Collection Routine in the field and how they differ from the monitoring routine. These questions typically answer most of the main questions we get when deciding whether to use the monitoring or Set Collection Routine in the field. Now we will start the Set Collection Field Routine. From the main menu we go into configure survey and we edit the optical configuration. We ensure that the type is robotic, the manufacturer is Topcon and in this case we're using the new model of GT1000. We're connecting using Bluetooth, ensure advanced tracking is turned on, ensure turning speed is set to the highest and then we simply hit next and on the survey settings we ensure our target type is prism and our foresight and backside prism constants are correct for the prisms that we are using. We can set the EDM measuring type to tracking fine or rapid and in this case we're not doing any auto topo and we're not doing any monitor options in this example. In this example we are logging our data to a file and we are logging coordinates to a text format and selecting the file output. And you can simply continue through the config and then simply hit the green tick and then the green tick to go back to the main screen of magnet field. We can check to ensure we're in the right coordinate system by going into configure coordinate system and ensure we have the correct projection and datum selected. We need to ensure we have our monitoring points in the job by going to edit and then points. In this case we only have our two control points and we need to import our monitoring points that we're measuring. So we simply go back to the main screen and then into exchange and then from file. We ensure the data type is point list and in this case the format is custom tech. And then we simply hit next, navigate to the file containing our points and hit the green tick. Ensure that the file style and delimiter are correct and then hit next. Verify the coordinate system of the points and then hit next. And then you'll see you've successfully imported four points and one points list. And we can simply navigate back to the main screen of magnet field. You can check to ensure our points have been imported by going up into edit points. And then once happy we can return to the magnet field screen and start our set collection by going to survey and then set collection. It will prompt us for our setup. So we select our occupy point and instrument height and also our backside point with target height. And then if you have observation info ticked, we can input our total station temperature and pressure settings and then hit next. On the config screen, we can select the angle sequence that we wish to perform in the field. In this case we're using backsight foresight and then foresight backsight. Comparing this to the monitor routine, the monitor routine does backsight foresight and then backsight foresight. We can then go into our class that we're observing by hitting the three dot button next to class and then we can go edit or add. They have preloaded five number of sets but you can add up to 99. You can measure direct and reverse for all sets or so only select for distance and vertical angle and at most you can have up to five distance measurements and we can also set our tolerances down the bottom for our distance and also horizontal and vertical angles. We need to ensure that we set our angle to azimuth and we don't set the circle at the start of each set. In this case we want to be fully automatic so we have auto turn for search after turn we have search and track and we have auto accept measurement on for a fully automated set collection routine. Now if we go up into the magnet symbol and then help, we can find some helpful information about setting up our set collection routine and what this will mean when doing the routine in the field and just some further explanations about the options available to the user. You can use the predefined point option. In this example, we are not, but if we tick it on and then hit next, we can set the measurement type and it asks for predefined points. It automatically brings across your backside information and then we can simply hit add. We can use this function if we want to add all the points 
now that will automatically be in that routine. You can select the target type and constant and give it a code and then we can simply add this as many times for as many points that we are observing. In this example we've already defined the four points that we're going to be monitoring so we can simply go back and untick predefined points and then simply hit next. On the mode screen we can check the type and constants and then hit next. We'll now be in the set collection screen and it will prompt us to turn to our back sight point with our instrument height and then once measured it will automatically default to the last point name in the list with its associated code. So all we need to do is change the point name to the first point on our list which in this case is point 100 and it automatically populates a code and in this case all target heights in this routine are set to zero. We first manually have to aim to each of the four points and once we have aimed to point 100 we simply hit measure and once measured it automatically generates the next point in the list which is 101 and its associated code and we can see here we can either add the next foresight distance or measure the foresight reverse of the first point which would be the second icon but in this case we want to measure point 101 so we hit the little red icon with the plus symbol and once measured it will automatically go to point 102 so we manually sight 102 and then once happy we hit the record button again and we do the same for point 103 turn to the point manually sight it and then press record and point 103 was our last station so in this case we hit the green icon we want to measure the reverse distance and we'll start doing our five sets and as we can see here we're now measuring our reverse foresight distances and angles going back to the previous points with our auto turn option on and search and track the measuring of all sets is now completely automatic and we simply wait for the total station to finish all of its five sets measuring direct and reverse to each point including our backside point. Using the new GT1000 this process is a lot faster with its turning speed. This means there is less time spent in the field. And as we measure our final backside reading on set 5, once completed all five sets the software will automatically stop measuring and return to the backside location and it will now display the set collection results. So we can see the residual horizontal angle, vertical angle and slope distance, the height of reflector, the target type and also the prism constant and we can actually hit the little page icon and get a set collection report in the field and we can save this out as a text file to any directory on your data collector. This is an added report that you can't get when using the monitoring routine and once you are happy with the results you can simply hit accept and if any tolerances that were set in your class have been exceeded you can see the warning here. If you hit no on the warning screen it will turn you to the measure set screen and then you can simply select a set to re-measure where you have exceeded your tolerances. And once you accept the results, it will prompt you saying that point 100 already exists. And for all points, we need to ensure that we don't overwrite and we don't rename, that we store as a check. If we go under the magnet symbol and then help, it explains what a point check is. And this is the way that magnet field and tools can generate a report to show your misclose of the monitoring points. So we simply store as check for point 100, 101, 102 and 103. And then we can simply go back to the main menu of magnet field. From the main screen of magnet field we can go into edit and then raw data. Now we can scroll down and see the little green symbol next to the point name to show that it is stored as a checkpoint for all of the five sets that were taken as well as a back sight symbol verifying that the back sight was set for each measured set. And this concludes the field procedure of set collection to perform a monitoring routine.
once in magnet tools we can simply go into new job and then enter a name location for this job and then we can simply hit next we can ensure we're using the correct display and precision and then hit next and we can verify that we're using the correct projection and datum for the job and then hit create once we have created the job again we can either go up into import and then import the MJF from the field or we can simply just have the file directory open and drag and drop the MJF file into the main screen of Magnet Tools. Again we can see the observation view and all the TS observations down below. If you have created a report configuration previously this makes this process a lot faster. And we can simply go under report, execute report and then hit in this case a set collection report which will automatically generate a report that we've set up previously with the correct information being viewed in the correct format. We're looking at the set collection report as well as the check shop report and the project information. So like the monitoring routine we can have a check shop report option but the advantage of using set collection is you get the set collection report as well. Once you are happy you can save this file out to your directory for your QA purposes. We can also view the class that was used in the field by going under the view tab and then classes view and we can see all the classes that are preloaded and we can actually double click on the one that was used. We can see exactly how the point information was collected in the field with how many sets what sort of routine and the tolerances that were set. And this concludes part two set collection of monitoring and magnet field and tools.